to open with the purity of love with the expectation of nothing. We simply allow ourselves to come out even more as God. And as we do that, we do that through the peacefulness that we experience inside, through the congeniality we experience with each other, through the love and the connection and the time down where we get to just be quiet. Just quiet. So I know that as we are expressed through that, that today's service is absolutely blessed and in perfect alignment and ordained to be perfect for each and every one of us to get exactly what it is that we came here to get today. And so what I know too is it's the community, the common unity that is in this room and walls about the whole world that we are celebrating today, our life our absolutely willingness to reborn our spirit and our thinking in a way that allows us to absolutely explode in light. So I know that Reverend Mike's message is perfect. The music is awesome. And, sorry, I got it. And um, <laughs> everything is perfectly orchestrated and ordained today for each one of us. I give great, great thanks for our home, which we call the Center for Spiritual Living, Granada Hills. I give great thanks for every single person here and absolutely give great thanks for waking up this morning. I release my words into the law and knowing it is absolutely already done. And together we say, yes, yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. If you don't know me, my name is Reverend Betsy Haas and I am um, one of the staff ministers here that that we all like to have fun, but I really like to have fun. So you know. And I do think that, um, as people are getting settled, I do think that we completely are here as one to celebrate each other in such a way that our life gets to be expanded simply just by being here, by being in connection, by being in community in terms of that. So it's very interesting as I got a very good knowledge and a very good teaching of when I went to look up what is the medical, metaphysical meaning of Christmas. And when I went in to look at it, it's very interesting that all the articles that I read came back to, you know, looking at Christmas as, and I love this, Christ mass, the Christ consciousness of the mass universe. Imagine. Talk about a world that works for every one of us. And so as I was looking through this whole thing and looking at, you know, the whole pressure of the season, the gifts of the season, the wondernesses of the season, the tons of eating during the season. Today was the first day that my pants, that the, um, you know, that the waist said, excuse me, who are you? And so, you know, part of the process of this is where is it that we get our joys? Where is it that we get not only our joy, but where is it that we truthfully get to allow that Christ consciousness go mass, that consciousness of good, the consciousness of love, the consciousness of life. And I was reminded, you know, as I love the circle, uh, the spiral of light on Wednesday, I was reminded that one light, one candle, lit up this whole sanctuary in the dark. What I also noticed is that every person that was here lit up this room with their light of who they were and the way that they have expressed themselves. And that as they light their, their, lit their candle along the way of the spiral, one of the things that I realized is that we truly are the light. We're in it. Talk about the Christ mass consciousness, or the Christ consciousness mass. The fact of it is, is that when we totally go through this and we're, and we're bombarded of the season of the, of the materialism, really looking at what it's all about. That we notice wherever you go that you absolutely have the ability to be the light, period. You can make somebody day very easily. It's called a smile. 
actually looking at somebody in the eyes and really connecting with them and saying, have a phenomenal season. Just stop for a second. They're going to look at you like you're nuts. It's fine. But the fact of you'll see that the light in their eyes just booms. I've been kind of playing around with this for the last couple of weeks, and it's a blast. Because then, of course, we have, you know, the um, Hanukkah lights. And I was reminded of that when I was thinking about that in such a beautiful way, is that growing up in New Mexico, we all had luminarios. For those of you who don't know they are, what they are, we, we had the, the authentic ones where we got the little um, paper lunch bags, and my dad made us roll them down perfectly, put sand in them, put a candle in them, and they went all the way around my, for neighborhoods around. It was, it was our custom growing up. And it was, you know, the Jewish people always thought it was about, you know, the festival of lights. The Christians always thought that it was leading the path, you know, um, leading, the, leading the path for Christ. The, you know, it didn't matter who it was, every single family with neighborhoods, I mean, four or five neighborhoods, more than Candy Cane Lane. It was just luminarios. And then somehow it was very weird that the teenage boys would always disappear and all of a sudden there would be no street lights. I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> but there was no street lights, so it was just lined up. And it was absolutely gorgeous. In the years that it snowed, it was even more beautiful. And so what I realized with that as well is that that lit up the neighborhood. That put the light into it. So as we go through these next week, we can have... You know, I invite each one of us to truly bring our Christ consciousness into the masses that we meet all along the way. If you're being with family that you're not excited about, be it. Be the light. Non-judgmental, accepting, loving, kind. If somebody triggers you, just say thank you very much and go to the bathroom and do what you need to do and come back. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> So let's have, I think it's about, let's have, you know, this time of year, let's have a rebirth of our life, starting with the blank tablet, rebirth who we are, make a conscious choice who we are and what we want to be. And with that, what we get is we get a life filled with joy and love, and we do make the difference in every person that we come into contact with so that we have a world that works for every person. Thank you. Thank you.